So I actually don't bite my bum. Um, when you think about it, in nature, no other animal wipes after they use the restroom. So why do we do that? Um, and I don't. I know there's got to be a benefit to not wiping. I don't really know what it is. But if God wanted us what? to wipe after we use the restroom, we would have a built-in way to do that um, into our anatomy. You know what I mean? Um, so because we don't, I personally believe that wiping after using the restroom is not good for your health. So I actually don't. This half has said, I know there's going to be a, a benefit to not wiping. What type of nasty? I ain't gonna lie. Since since I've been doing these videos, I've been coming across some some crazy sh some crazy sh I feel as though, and I know y'all feel it too. Some things are better left unsaid. Cause ain't no way that you don't wipe your 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 <laughs> you don't wipe your bum after you take a dookie and you having sex. Because if your man hitting that from the back, he gonna smell some shit. I'm just saying he gonna smell something. I don't wipe my bum. It's too early for this. See, I'm about to go out, and you know it's Saturday night. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling like I look good. My hair is freshly washed and pressed. But you ain't gonna believe this. Wait, wait, wait. You're not really gonna believe this. Ain't nobody gonna talk to me. Is that is that I mean, leopard like, skin? One man is gonna step to me and say, "What's good, ma?" Like now, what kind man, of animal pattern is that? Is that leopard have skin? The goal to come push up on me and offer to buy me a drink. And you see, I don't understand why I be getting so fine because who am I doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I'm not doing it because I got a husband at home and I want him to think I look sexy. That's, that's so cat. if you see me out and, you know, you feel like you're a good candidate for me, you know, like, and I would feel like you're a good candidate for me also, holler at me. Otherwise, I'm going to go home by myself again tonight. <laughs> that's cat. But I'm going to wake up single tomorrow again. <laughs> Damn. Damn. This is reverse psychology because I'm pretty sure in that comment section is a whole bunch of grown men that's shooting their shot. They said, come on, baby. <laughs> you don't even got to go out. I'll come to you. Okay. So that's Cap. She, she knows what she was doing. This, that's just content. On the flip side, what, what kind of uh, animal pattern is that top? Yeah, it's not leopard skin. It, it looked like a... a Alligator back. I need to brushen up on my fashion. This is the man that f with you. Rico, he's mean and you don't like him. Did I do that? You don't f with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yep. No, I my didn't. Oh, look at you so. <laughs> you got your own camera. This is the man that. If I was you, player, I'll go ahead and go to the precinct right now. I'll drop a dime on her ass. Because when she doing that and making accusations like that, and all she got to do is convince that little girl, that's so evil, dog. But get that little girl to say anything around them lines, and you going to jail. I'm glad you got it on camera. Imagine if he, don't, if he didn't have that on camera. And she went and called them peoples on him. And the little girl, scared of her mother, say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you going to jail, boy. You going to jail. And don't sleep in prison. They don't respect dudes that come to jail for this. So now, one, she risking you going to jail. You getting locked up. She risking you be going on that sex offender list. But two, she putting you at risk to get sexually offended when you go in the, in the, in the penitentiary. Because you go to the penitentiary for touching your daughter. Oh, best believe somebody going to bust them cheeks open. They're going to bust them cheeks open. They don't respect dudes that, that do them type, of, them type of crimes when they go lock, when they get locked up. You know what, man? I, I hope you show that to the police. You show that to CPS and, and, and get custody of your, your daughter, my boy. 
That's that's just evil. That's just evil, man. How old are you? Lola, 28. Okay. Hunter, 27. All right. What's the goal for tonight? Um, get drunk, have a good time. All right. What about you? Yeah, same. Okay. Well, now let me ask you this. What type of man do you like? Rich. <laughs> okay. Can you describe a little more? <laughs> ask her. That's it? Rich, period? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, so I like my man to, you know, be funny, rich, of course. Okay, oh, let me not say that. You know, I have a taste. I'm already married, so. How old are you? Lola. The first thing came out of her mouth is, he got to be rich. See, he, he messed up. What he should have asked is, when you say rich, like, how much do you think he should be making a year? That's the that's the answer I really wanted to hear, man. I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. They're very attractive women, but um, I don't know if their minds is, is, is in the right place. You ready with me for a first date? Why I tell you guys why I removed somebody from my roster? So the guy in question, he asked me to take him on a date. Let me preface by saying he's a pretty good guy and he'll be great for whoever accepts those standards. But me personally? Hold on. I ain't gonna lie. When she said I removed somebody from my roster. Now, fellas, if you don't think that the female you're talking to have a roster, then you are highly mistaken. These bitches be building franchises. Now, you may be the franchise player or you may be the one coming off the bench. I say this again, you might be the franchise player, or you might be the man coming off the bench. They be out here, dog. These bitches be recruiting. They be recruiting for, for somebody to take them out on a date, somebody to pay them bills, somebody she can use for emotional support. You usually the friend zone nigga that you on the bench. She only call you and one of the other dudes on the roster messed up and her mental ain't straight and she know that she can call you and just... <sighs> Talk to you and tease you because you want that, but you ain't never going to have that. And then I don't, I don't know if I would consider this man a star player because the star player, to me, is the one getting the pussy. Because it's a guy out here on the roster that she only call for dick. She only calling him for dick. Nothing else. Now, if I'm going to be on your roster, I, I, that's who I want to be. You feel what I'm saying? The the dick delivery man. Remember they call uh Carl Malone the postman, right? If she gonna put me on the roster, let me be the dick delivery man. All that other shit, I don't wanna talk to you. I don't wanna Netflix and chill. I don't wanna hear emotional shit. I say all that to say, brother, if you talking to a female, she she got other dudes. Just understand that. It's a no. So on our last day ever, we went to a symphony and it was amazing. He's a musician, and I told myself I would never date a musician again, and especially an aspiring musician. Before we went out on our first date, I didn't know that he was an aspiring musician. I thought his day job was his only job. So that was my first cue to exit, but he was pretty awesome. So, so the man can't I have dreams? Going. So fast forward to our fourth date. The symphony is over. We decide to go to get a, a nightcap, a last drink of the night. So we're on this street that has a bunch of restaurants. We pick a restaurant that has espresso martinis. He gets his espresso martini. We finish the drink. And then I decide that I want churros. So we start walking. And I ask the universe to bring me a restaurant that has churros. So right before I'm about to give up, the restaurant that's right before the car had churros. So we sit down. I order the churros. The waiter brings us free sangria. So I'm like, okay, the universe told me this is the right choice. This is we were supposed to be here. So somehow the conversation takes a complete left turn. And he says, so I'd like for you to take me on a date. I am taken aback. I am completely flabbergasted at this point. Never in my life have I ever been asked something so absurd. So obviously I asked him to clarify because this is uncharted territory for me. And you know what this fully grown 33 year old man tells me? He said, I would like for you to fully plan the date, for you to pick me up, for you to buy me flowers, for you to pay for it. All the shit that men are supposed to do. And I did everything I could to keep my composure. How you feel about, how you feel about that? How long have they known each other? How long have they been dating? She ain't going to that detail. Are they exclusive? No. No. You said no? They're not exclusively dating. 
and she and he wants her obviously to not because at the beginning of this, she said uh, she had to cut him off her roster. So oh, I didn't watch the beginning with you. Well, I'm saying oh. she have a roster. I don't think she should do that. Are you serious? You asking my opinion? Oh wow! Like they're not. I feel like that's you was that's reserved for your boyfriend, like who you're dating monogamously. He probably called off too after she declined. But I'm saying, uh, are we supposed to be courting each other? Yeah, her showing up. It's her. That's what did Bumba? Her showing up, listening to him, getting to know him, seeing where she can make his life better based on his attitude, his demeanor, his mindset, his lifestyle, his goals. That's her job in the courtship. Her job in the courtship is not to pay for their dates. So his job is just to bring the money. No, it's not just to bring the money. It's to pay for the dates, but it's also... So why can't, why can't she show a level of interest in him by doing she something She can, like but that? she chose not to. I didn't say she shouldn't or she couldn't. She chose not to. You said she shouldn't. That's what you said in the I, beginning. That's she my shouldn't. that's my opinion. You asking my opinion. So she shouldn't. I don't think that she should. Well, yeah, you I don't think that I don't think she's wrong for her opinion so of yeah. not doing it. So cutting them off was the right thing to do. I don't know. I don't know if I was dating somebody and he asked me that. I don't know if I would cut him off, but I would decline. And if we don't speak again, if he cut me off, I wouldn't be mad. Wow. Depends on how much I like the person. Like, okay, that 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 came out of left field. That's not something I'm... And I would tell her, I'm like, that's not something I'm willing to do right now in our, you know, courtship. Maybe if we become official, absolutely. But right now, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I, I look forward to doing that when we're monogamous. That's something I would lo love to do for you when we're exclusively dating. But as for now, I can't uh, make that wish come true. Wow. That's so he could find some, another woman who's willing to do that for him and would take pleasure in doing it while they're dating. I'm She's saying though, but one. like my thing is why why is it that women can't just take that extra step? Like why is it dudes always got to do that? I mean, some men just think differently. Some men just think differently. Some dudes mean? just think different. Some dudes don't even want that. Don't the, want what? Don't want a woman to pay for their date. To to take him to, who told you that some dudes don't want that some dudes will literally like if a girl even as friends if he pay for, if she'll pay for his stuff he'll pay her back or like he'll pay for like bill the bill before it come out if they go out to eat it's just like embedded in their mind like no i'm you i think pay. so you yes. think some dude don't like to be treated special yes they like to be Yo, treated special most... but it's not it's some, for some men it's not financial some men, like, a woman treating them is it's not, not like, a, I don't even think for that dude is really financial. So she should ask him, what, how do you want to be, well, how would that make you feel? Oh, I, it make me feel attended to, felt, seen. Well, how else could I make you feel that way? Maybe she don't ask him how else she could make him feel that way. Maybe she think, if she likes him that much, she could think about another way to make him feel that way, to have his needs be met. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. You want to put your face in the camera? And, and advertise? You can advertise. Hi. Oh, I gave myself a chemical pill, y'all, so. That's you see, she was, that's about my she mouth. trying to be in the camera. No, my first. titties. I'm subconscious about my titties. That's why I wasn't in the camera at first. They stayed nice. Yeah. They juicy. Thank you, husband. <laughs> Come yeah. see me at Sick My Skin. They look like nice papayas. Thank you, husband. Let me see them. Mm, rum together like I like how you mm. make them things clap. I feel you. Anyway, back to this video. I dropped some Olaplex on the floor and I was scooping it up because we are not wasting thirty dollar oil. Anyway, at that point of the conversation, I knew that we would not be seeing each other again. I didn't bash him for his views or anything. I was just like, well, um, that's not gonna work for me. And that got a conversation started about what he believes his role is going to be in his long-term relationship. He said he wanted his wife to work and he didn't make enough money for her to be a stay-at-home mom. And that didn't work for me. I was like, I'm a pretty traditional woman, so what you're saying does not sound like anything that I desire. It was unfortunate because I actually did like him a lot, but like, mm, you have to get off the roster for that one. It's smart to be forthcoming with your expectations, that way you're not wasting your time or anybody else's. 
and it saves you from settling because if you get into a relationship with this person and you fall in love with them or whatever, you're going to settle because you're in love. I'm running so late for a first date right now and I'm thinking to myself, men are so lucky. All they have to do is shower. I'm running beyond late. This is my outfit. It's kind of hideous. I kind of hate it, but you know, it's what I can do with the time I've got. At least my hair kind of slays. <laughs> I disagree with what my wife said. Um, I've always had this feeling. I feel as though men have to do too much to impress women. I've always felt like that. Even when you're in a relationship, you still have to do things to fulfill her voids. Even if, as a man, you're going through certain shit. Once we dating, you, you're not my child. You're not my child. I don't want my wife to be a stay-at-home mom. Never. Now, if it, if, like right now, excuse me, her business has slowed down. Whatever she need, I'll take up for that. So if she need me to, hey, can you pay my car note? I'll pay her car note. You know what I'm saying? Like, she doesn't have to worry about the rent. She doesn't have to worry about the phone bills, the light bills. The only thing my wife has to worry about right now is whatever things she might have acquired for herself. Like, she has the car. She has her car insurance, which I, I'm actually, I think I'm paying the car insurance, too, because I used to use her car to do Uber. So, she has, I, I take care of that. So, she has a car note, and she takes care of of the groceries and the daycare for my son. And that's pretty much it. My son is about to leave daycare just now and start going to kindergarten. So that's gonna be one less bill for her. But I said all that shit to say, bro, my wife became one of them ladies that said, I don't wanna work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want you to take care of me. I don't know how I would feel about that. Like, I feel as though I would look at her like a bum. And I never looked at her as a bum. Like, I always looked at her as somebody who be striving. This is why, for me, if we were... I always say this shit. If me and her don't work out, bro, I would have a hard time. I would have a hard time, son. Because I feel as though men don't catch a break. Men do not catch a break. We get in a relationship and you not holding your weight. I'll flip. <laughs> I'm going to be real, bro. I, I'll flip, bro. Like, when we get in arguments now, and it'd be about, like, trivial stuff. And I might get upset, and then that's it. I'll get over that shit. But if we was in a situation where, like, I'm basically taking care of you like my damn child, and you not willing to add to the household, you're just taking away, and then you want to, like, argue with me about whatever demands, you know what I'm saying, whatever, oh, you need to do this for me, or I don't like when you do this, I, I'll flip, bro, I'm gonna be real with you, I'll flip, like, that, that'd be the shit with me and her be arguing about, bro, I want you to say this to me, you know, why didn't you say that, and I'm going in, I'm going in so much on this one clip, bro, but, like, I feel as though women have selective memory. And that's gonna be a video for another time, but yeah, I don't, I don't agree with this shit, bro. Court me, take me out to dinner, please. There's a chance that I might even, I might not even let you play for it, or like that would give me. This is how I, I operate. You taking me out to dinner would give me. It'll soup me up to where the next day I'm gonna go all out. But that's how I operate. All right, I don't think I'm a. I'm going to do any more clips because I spent damn near 15 minutes just talking about this one. <sighs> Excuse me. So y'all tell me how y'all feel, man. Tell me if I'm tripping.